Hello everyone myself Dr Parth Goswami and today I am going to teach you a very important topic from cell injury that is apoptosis So what do you mean by apoptosis So friends apoptosis is a form of irreversible cell injury right it's a form of cell death in which you have the tightly regulated suicidal programmed cell death and in this particular process mitochondria is involved so you can easily understand that it is a energy dependent active process right it will happen mainly in the mitochondria and it is one of the form of cell death all right now see friends in the apoptosis there will be activation of many intrinsic enzymes and that will lead to a degradation of cells own nuclear dna and the cytoplasmic proteins so in the apoptosis you will have the damage of your nuclear dna and you will have the damage of cytoplasmic protein all right so friends uh, as far as the etiology of apoptosis is concerned basically there are two causes or two principal categories of the apoptosis the first one is physiological causes of apoptosis which is a normal physiological mechanism in which you don't need to worry and the second category is pathological causes for the apoptosis which indicate some underlying disease right so these are the two principal categories so first we will start with physiological causes of apoptosis in our body right so the first example is embryogenesis or organogenesis means organ development during the fetal development right during the embryogenesis excessive cells will removed by apoptosis second example is hormonal dependent involution of endometrium and prostate gland with advanced age right all right third example is intestinal epithelium which is constantly getting renewed in our body so the excessive cell will be removed by cell deletion apoptosis the fourth example is you will have the apoptosis of the cell once its function is over for example the neutrophil appears in the acute inflammation which will disappear by the apoptosis once its function is over in the inflammation all right fifth important example is self reactive lymphocytes that will be removed by central deletion in our bone marrow which will help in prevention of autoimmunity which is also known by the name central immunological tolerance so harmful self reactive lymphocytes will also be removed by apoptosis all right now we will see the pathological causes of apoptosis so the first example is chemotherapy radiotherapy or hypoxia induced cell damage right because of these three principal cause you can have the damage in the dna and sometime such injury is so severe that dna damage cannot cannot be repaired by p53 gene right so if it cannot be repaired then there will be cell removal through a process of apoptosis right if the dna damage cannot repaired then p53 will get activated and they will remove the cell they will activate the cell to undergo apoptosis all right misfolded protein also removed by a process of apoptosis third example is certain infections in which the infected cell will be removed by apoptosis for example adenovirus infection then hiv infection and viral hepatitis right in the viral hepatitis also you will have the apoptotic bodies you will have the apoptosis right all right see the apoptosis body in the viral hepatitis is given a one special name that is known by the name councilman bodies all right the tumor cells and the grafted cells will also get removed by a process of apoptosis fifth example is that suppose you have the obstruction in the pancreas kidney or parotid gland then the remaining parenchymal cell right can be removed by a process of apoptosis all right and now we will see the morphology of apoptosis how what is the look of histopathology of the apoptosis the first 
important finding as far as the morphology of apoptosis is concerned is that you will have the cell shrinkage the cell size will be reduced and it is the earliest change that is observed in apoptosis right now in the apoptosis you will have the dna damage so because of that you can develop a nuclear chromatin condensation dark nuclear chromatin which is known by the name pycnosis and it is one of the most characteristic feature of apoptosis so if you are asking exam what is most characteristic feature of apoptosis then it is pycnosis in the diagram you can see a pycnosis right nuclear chromatin condensation all right now friends in the apoptosis the cell membrane is intact right the cell membrane is not damaged so you will not have inflammation which is a contrasting feature in the necrosis in the necrosis you will have the cell damage and so you will have the inflammation but here inflammation is not seen now in the apoptosis you will have a cell membrane bound structure right you will have cytoplasmic blebs which is tightly packed with organelles and the nuclear fragments which is known by the name apoptotic bodies and these apoptotic bodies will be removed through a process of phagocytosis now friends if you are asking in exam that which is the two characteristic feature of apoptosis then it the one is pycnosis of the nuclear chromatin and second one is eosinophilic cytoplasm which can be observed in this particular image right you will have pycnosis and dark eosinophilic cytoplasm of the apoptotic cell all right now we will see certain biochemical changes that will happen in apoptosis so see friends in the the apoptosis process will begin with caspase activation which is a hallmark of apoptosis right you will have the caspase activation and the annexin 5 is a marker of apoptosis which is a very important mcq all right now friends now due to the caspase activation you will have the activation of endonuclease enzyme this endonuclease enzyme will damage your dna right so here the dna will be break down in the form of 180 to 200 dna pairs right they will form a internucleosomal size fragments so that is the characteristic of apoptosis all right and these internucleosomal fragments appear as a step ladder pattern in agarose gel electrophoresis so you can see that in this particular electrophoresis you will have the step ladder like pattern because of dna breakdown in the manner of internucleosomal fragments all right now friends you have to remember that our brain neurons doesn't have caspase so here the apoptosis will not start with caspase activation but it will start with activation of another factor that is apoptosis inducing factor aif all right in the part 2 we will see the mechanism of apoptosis so friends this particular diagram is demonstrating a morphology of apoptosis so you can see that above one is the normal cell where you have the intact cell membrane right and you have the all organelles within the cell and the nucleus is totally normal but in case of an apoptosis you will have the darkening of nuclear chromatin right you will have the chromatin condensation which is known by the name pycnosis and gradually you can observe that there is a formation of a membrane blebs you know the apoptosis is a tightly regulated programmed cell death it involves the mitochondria as well and so here there is a programming for the cell death right here the membrane is not damaged so here you can see that there is a formation of membrane blebs and gradually this protrusion this blebs will be separated from the cell membrane and they will form apoptotic bodies so you can see that these apoptotic bodies has been separated from the cell membrane and if you observe carefully then you can see that apoptotic body contain a structure of cytoplasm and various organelles so the apoptotic body is consisting of cytoplasmic structures and the tightly packed organelles 
and gradually these apoptotic bodies will be removed through a process of apoptol by the process of phagocytosis right the phagocytosis will remove this apoptotic body so this, this is about the phagocytosis of apoptotic bodies all right so this is all about the apoptosis thank you very much and see you soon in the next video